Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about folding tables for your next craft fair. Let's get into it. When it comes to folding tables, there's three big stores that are the top contenders for buying your tables. Walmart, Costco, and Salem's Club. Feel free to debate me in the comments down below. Now, both Costco and Sam's Club have the disadvantage that you need a membership to go ahead and buy there. But I'm willing to bet that if you asked your friends and family, there's somebody that you could borrow a membership from to go ahead and purchase it. Uh, now, if there's not one in your area, that's a hard thing to contend with. But before we start talking about which is the best place to buy your table at, let's talk about what kind of table you should buy. So we're talking about folding tables that the legs fold under and some of them fold shut or some of them stay open. The big sizes are four foot and six foot. Now the four foot tables are four foot by two feet and the six foot tables are six feet by two and a half feet. Might not sound like that big of a difference, but it does make a difference. Most craft spaces are 10 foot by 10 foot. Therefore, if you were getting two four foot tables, you could get eight feet of table and two feet deep. And then if you had a six foot table, you could do a six foot and a four foot. But your problem is it's gonna look a little wonky, a little dorky because one is shorter than the other depth wise. So it's not gonna look consistent and that's gonna make your booth look more unprofessional. Now, what I have seen some people do is they will stack two tables uh, front and back of each other. That's an option too. Uh, another thing is having all your tables be the same height. A big pro is to have four foot tables because then your tables can be higher. Most four foot tables come with adjusting height, which means that you can place them higher. A lot of people that use the six foot tables end up putting their, uh, they'll either pop the legs off and put a um, PVC pipe on the bottom to make their tables higher because you want your tables at waist level for average people to go ahead and shop so that it's more in their face and they don't have to lean over into your product. That is why I would not recommend a six foot table unless you're willing to make adjustments to it. However, let me preface it all this with whatever you already have at home, use that first. Go ahead and do your first couple of craft shows, get some money on like put in the bank account to go ahead and pay for your investments and slowly start building up your booth. If this is your first show, do not go out and buy a bunch of tables. Do not go out and buy a tent, borrow a tent, borrow a table, figure out what your friends and family have that you can borrow. What do you already have at home? Use what you have. That being said, if you're willing to invest and you're ready to invest to upgrade your space, I would highly recommend four foot tables. They're lighter, more compact. You can utilize your space better. Typically, you don't need as much depth on your table because you can't even put that much stuff on your table without it feeling overwhelmed. So in my opinion, a four foot table is the best bet. Uh, there's different layouts you could do. Like I said, you could do four and four. So you have eight out of your 10 feet used. If you have the ability to get out of your booth from the side or the back, you could also do uh, four, four. So we have eight and then two this way so that you've used the entire 10. Even if you don't, if you just use that back space of the two, on the L here, you use this for your closeout space, your bags, your register, all of that. That's great too. Then you're utilizing your whole front space. Now let's talk about the three different contenders for shops, Walmart, Sam's Club, and Costco. So I would recommend Sam's Club. That is where I think that the best tables are. Let me tell you why. So we're talking about four foot tables. Price, they're all about the same. It's between $30, $50, or about like $40, $45 is what I've seen as the average price. Uh, you might get them on sale. I don't know, things can fluctuate, but they're all about the same price. Price isn't a big factor. And typically you're gonna buy about four of them for your booth. Um, now, a big factor based on your vehicle and your ability to carry things is whether or not the table can fold in half. Now, if you have a four foot table that keeps open and does not fold in half, you have a more structurally sound table and it is going to be more flat. You won't have any sort of divot, but if you're putting a tablecloth down before you put your product down, it won't make that big of a difference. So Sam's Club has folding tables. Costco has solid tables. Also, the Costco tables are lifetime brand. Those tables are heavy. So if you're a strong man and you're able to go carry your tables from your car all the way to your booth every single time, go for it, get those heavy tables. But if you do not want to haul some heavy tables every time to your booth, do not buy the Costco tables. They are way too heavy. They're not worth it. Um, I also got one of those Costco pull along carts in my folded tables. I can fit five of them in my cart, one trip from my car to my booth. And I've done it multiple times. The cart has not broken. One of those like beach wagon carts, 
Uh, I believe I put a video up. I'll have it linked if it's up. Um, so I would recommend those because they fold in half uh, because of the weight. Uh, and also I said the height adjustments. So 24 to 34 inches tall. That's how much the height fluctuation is for the tables. There's three different settings. I always crank mine up to the highest so that even for tall people, the tables are higher up. Now for me, as a short person, I'm 5'1", to be behind them and have to serve my customers and have to try and talk about my product, it is a little difficult sometimes because I'm, the tables are quite tall to me. Um, but if I could, I should probably put something like on my side to make me taller. Uh, another factor is the legs. So the Costco tables, it's one solid piece and then the Sam's Club or the Sam's Club tables have little legs. Uh, I'll put a picture up. But the so depending on where you are doing your show, it could be very inconvenient to have one solid piece. I've done shows um, at Bear Chase on the mountain where the grass is fluctuating, the ground is not level. Having Sam's Club tables, I mean sorry, Costco tables that are flat is very annoying and very difficult because there's no way to wedge something under there to like make it level. It's it's very hard because it's one solid piece. It'd be easier if it was one piece, two piece, and then you could stick something underneath it to make it level. Um, another thing is the clasps. How you go about putting the table up, down, put together. This goes for tents as well. I would not recommend Walmart tables or the Walmart tents. That is because the little mechanism that you go ahead to push in to make the raise up and raise down is a bar with a little metal notch that you have to stick your finger in there. And if you've ever used one of these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you stick it in there and your finger gets caught and you maybe bleed a little. Yeah, it's not fun. Don't buy the Walmart ones. It's not worth it. Like if it, the Costco ones are and the Sam's Club ones are like $5 more, pay the $5, save your fingers. Goes for the tents as well. Um, now the problem with the Costco tents, I don't know about Sam's Club, the Costco tents are not 10 by 10 feet. Most spaces are required to be 10 by 10 feet. They also require that the tent be white. So unfortunately I do have a Walmart tent. I have yet to use it. Um, I bought it on clearance uh, last year, or not last year, like three months ago, I got it for like $70. So that's why I was willing to get it. But I'm not looking forward to when I do put it up because the fingers do hurt, but to get it that cheap is a great deal and it's 10 by 10. Also the tents, you can't get the, the ones that are slanted because again, you need to stay. Some shows you'll get a 10 by 12 space, but most shows you're a 10 by 10 space. So don't buy something that will only work at some shows and not all shows. And the even inside shows, you can use a tent in most cases, which is nice to hang up your banner. You would just, most shows it says, don't put the canopy on or there are shows that say it's a required to have a white canopy. So if you had a branded canopy, you might not even be able to use it. Uh, but that is my opinion. I think that you should get the Sam's Club tables, the four foot tables, get yourself a little wagon, and then the tent. Let me know what your recommendations are for the tents down below. Something that has a nice clasp, something that uh, one person can put up. Let me know what your opinion is in the comments down below. And then the tablecloths. I would not recommend that you get the spandex tablecloths. Here's why. The spandex tablecloths, if the legs, uh, if the legs are here, right? If this two things is the legs. The spandex goes up like this because it's tight. You're using the space under your table to store your bags, your empty containers, this and that. It looks very unprofessional when you walk by somebody who has a spandex tablecloth and you can see all their stuff under the table. I recommend the ones that are flush, just flat, and they're just laying in front of the table because then even if you can see a little bit underneath, you can't really see much. Um, the table cloths that I bought off Amazon, which you would think I sew, why wouldn't I just sew them myself? The cost of materials for how much fabric it would take to make a five-sided tablecloth because top and four sides is not worth the cost of how much they cost already done. Now, the problem with the four foot tables at the max height, the tablecloth does not go to the floor. So what I did is I bought one extra tablecloth or maybe two, I can't remember now. And what I need to do is cut a piece off the bottom and attach it to all of the, like take one as sacrifice, cut tubes around and then sew that extra piece onto all the tablecloths so that when I go to shows, it'll touch the floor. Right now it does come up a little, but what I do is on the back side, I have it up higher and on the front I have it down. So the top isn't squared onto the top, it's a, tilted a little forward. So that is my opinion on tents, tables, tablecloths. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What are your favorites? What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? I'd love to hear what you have to say. 
please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by Thanksgiving. Have a great day.